In today's video, we're going to be tying the Cray loop. This is a non-slip loop knot that gives your streamers free moving action on the end of your line. And the tag end on this knot faces rearwards, which is important and different than the Rapla or Paula knot that's already out there. It's also one step less, which makes it a little easier to tie. Now with that tag end facing rearward, it won't snag debris or things like that in the water. And if they do, they hit that and come off. Whereas if that tag end is facing forward, the debris hits that and gets stuck on the end of your line. So let's go ahead and tie the Cray loop on my larger hook and some fly line so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So the first thing we're going to do is just take the tag end and throw an overhand knot in the line. And leave yourself a good amount of working room here. Give yourself six to eight inches at least to start with when you're learning how to tie this knot. Then we're going to take the tag end, just go through the eye of the hook. Then we are going to go through that overhand knot that we tied on that standing line. And I'm going to pull this all the way down to the eye, but don't pull it tight. Leave yourself an open overhand knot there to work with. If you don't pull it all the way to the eye, it's perfectly fine. I mean, you can start way up here. What that'll do is it'll just end up with a big, long loop, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but um, I'm a little OCD. I like as small of a little loop as I can get, and the better you get at this knot, the smaller the loop you'll be able to make. But it starts with just seating that overhand knot all the way down there by the eye of the hook. Now we're just going to go around the standing line once, twice, three times, four times, five times. Then we're just going to go down through the overhand knot, just to the side of the standing line. So just go through, through that loop, or through the overhand knot. Then you're just going to cinch it all down nice and tight, just like that. And you'll get nice clean little barrel kind of stacked loops there. That's how you know you did it correct. And you can see I ended up with a pretty small loop. Now if I would have left that overhand knot all the way up here, when I went to tighten it, it would have gone another inch and a half up. So that is a very strong little knot for streamer or freshwater or light saltwater applications called the Cray loop. And when you trim your tag end, I still trim mine pretty close to flush. I left it a little longer on that streamer the beginning of the video just so you guys could see it, but I usually trim it pretty pretty close. I might leave a tiny little nub just in case we get a little slippage, but that is the finished Cray Loop. 